We're the uh, the very first fighter at the very first optional media day. Awesome. Uh, we, we we hear people you know kind of don't like doing media on, on fight week and especially right. So what what made you decide? No, I'm I'm going down there. Well, to be honest, I honestly thought I was late, uh, but obviously I broke the stereotype. So let me go ahead and drop <laughs> drop that out. I'm first and early, you know. But besides all that. Yeah, just wanted to get it done so I can go back to go ahead and sleep because you guys are eating these big, nice boxes right now that's making me hungry. Are you with me? So, yeah. What's what's this experience been like for you? I mean, that's what everybody is wondering, I think, for you guys as fighters, what a, what a, what a crazy week this has been and everything being uprooted. So what's what's it been like for you this week? Well, for me, truly, I'm at home. So reality, it's cool for me. You know, it's like, and I understand, like, uh, for everybody else, it was pretty, like, steep, you know, some families, because I did have families also that ordered rooms, and I even ordered rooms and everything, so, you know, for why that whole exchange, bringing it out here was a little setback, but it ends up bringing out a smile for me, and basically my friend, my friends and family and fans that are out here that wanted to basically come to the fight and, you know, be able to see me do what I do best, so it was like a win-win, but... I can't really gloat about it right now, you know. <laughs> so I'll gloat about it after. Yeah. You know? We heard John was was walking around apologizing to people. Did he did he make it to you? No, I didn't get that. But no, <laughs> nine times out of ten, you know, I'm a lovable, likable guy. That when I end up seeing him, we'll probably like chop it up, you know, because I am a big fan. So I already know like a lot of cases is going on around, and everybody's like on his bumper right now. But I'm still a fan, you know. It's like literally like one of my top fighters up in the UFC, and it's always a go-to, you know. So yeah. You, you buy the whole the whole story that they're telling you about the drug test and some adverse body, not a positive test and that whole that whole thing. Oh yeah. To me personally I think he, he was clean. I think uh, you know things ended up sitting for a while, you know, the little small Michael Graham that ended up chilling for like eighteen months. So me on the back end, I really did do the homework and listening um on the whole Joe Rogan and everything. And I, I am a believer. And I was a believer from the beginning, so that's just how I am. Did, did the move cost you anything financially? So, uh, uh, for me, right now, yes, until I get my money back. Because, you know, they got that 7 to 10 day um, little thing that's going on. So I'll let you know in the next three days. You know, so right now, yeah. So what, what was what was the, what, what costed you money to get here? What was, what was the situation? Well, just the rooms. Because I ended up having to order in like an extra three rooms. And they ended up charging my whole card and everything. So... You know, but not a big deal. Plus the tickets, and I know some people ended up re getting the refunds. I haven't got mine yet, but nothing where it's I ain't supposed to be stressful about it because you know, like I'm a very when I'm cutting weight, I'm very moody. You know, so even though I'm bringing out smiles, but until you see me in the locker room, it's like all right, he's a different person. But right now, we're good. What's your take on getting hit by taxes? Uh, right now. I haven't got hit there, so it's like a lot of, you know, I'm not really thinking about it, but I believe when time comes, I'm probably going to end up being very sad just the fact that I had like plans because, you know, when you have money in front of you or even like having the thought of, hey, you're getting ready to guarantee this, this certain amount of cash, it's already spent. In my head, it's already spent, you know, like I invested in, majority is going to be going to like a lot of things from a, a boy in the future, so right there, I'm invested. Has the UFC said anything about helping people out with the tax situation, or is it just basically on you guys? Uh, as of right now, what I do know, it's just us. But nine times out of ten, uh, they've been very friendly with me. So if anything, they'll get back to me if anything comes about. You gonna send John Jones a bill? See, the bill will be for me. It'll be like, hey, let me just come out there and, uh, you know. Basically, Sue is the best. Because I honestly truly feel like I am the best because, you know, I'm like opening and sending out uh, challenges to everybody. So that's even John Jones. Even though I am a big fan again, I am a big fan of Jones, but he can still get these. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just how I am. Thanks, cool. Thanks, oh, okay. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks.